Okay, <laughs> so far, I think we're okay. <laughs> Testing up the new setup, obviously, this is a whole new thing for me. This is a brand new, I moved in with my girlfriend, um, brand new setup, stream, everything. It's different, it's new. Um, let's see how this goes. <laughs> hey there, Timmy. It's, uh, it, it's had some, uh, there's a reason why it's taken so long to get back to this point. Um, we ran into some internet issues because the Wi-Fi wasn't getting to the front, and so what I did is I had to move the modem and router around, and then I have an Ethernet cord, which is going to an Ethernet switch, which is going to the computer here, which is allowing me to actually do pretty good. It looks like, based on the metrics that I'm seeing, uh, it looks like the bitrate in the FPS is good, so... We had to do some playing around. Um, I got a new green screen that's collapsible, which is great. Um, and yeah, making sure that I had like, like just earlier last week, I was making sure like, okay, make sure you get sleeves, make sure you got top loaders, make sure you actually have the cards to open up because it's, it, it, it was a process, um, obviously with how long it's taken me to get back to this, but should be good. Um, I'm glad. I'm so glad to hear that the quality's going good because that was my main concern, um, especially with uh, like the value and whatnot. Because this is a whole new setup, brand new room, brand, everything's different. So trial by error here. We're gonna see how this works. And I'm probably gonna be you know fine tuning some things along the way. Obviously, my uh, face screen's in a different spot. This camera I might have to play around with a little bit because I don't love the way it's positioned. But we'll get around to that. Anyways. I got battle styles, I got some chilling rain, I've got some other packs. Um, this is more or less going to be just some random stuff. Um, I do have booster boxes, I do have shining fates, um, I got a lot of fun things that will be coming in the next few weeks. Um, so Tuesdays, again we're going to be doing card openings, Wednesdays we'll do, be, be doing video games. Um, and I actually got a capture card now so I can play Switch games even better than I was doing before because my main concern previously is I was doing it through my Xbox and now I actually have a capture card. So I'll be able to uh, start a Pokemon Snap. I'm gonna start tomorrow and see how that goes. But anyway, so far, if everything's all good, everything's, I'm seeing positive feedback across the board, so we should be good. So let's try this. Um, I got some random things. <laughs> Um, and then I got a One Battle Styles uh, Elite Trainer box, and then I got some of the Urshifu uh, boxes as well. So it's not going to be a terribly long stream. This was more or less just make sure everything worked, everything's great, and then we'll be good to go. So 
yeah, let's get started here. Um, let's see. Ooh, I got some sun and moon. We'll start with that, and then we'll go into the battle styles. Uh, and then the chilling rain, and then we'll go into the ETBs and whatnot, so. Really old sun and moon pack. Here we go. We got Lightning Energy, Dragonair, Elima, Hypno, Alolan Rattata, Sandile, Picky Peck, Spiro, Fomantis, Wishy Washy, and Decidueye. That did even that did even come off as a reverse uh, hollow on my screen, but there we go. But yeah, Decidueye. All right, off to off to a great start. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you got these separated right. Alright, now we got Darkness Ablaze. But yeah, thank you for stopping by, Timmy. I really appreciate you coming back after the extended uh, delay that we had. <laughs> Let's see, we got Water Energy, Simipore, Simisage, Rare Fossil, Pokemon Dig Sight, <laughs> Clink, Grimer, Wimpod, Fletchling, a Simeon. Grimer is the reverse. Mimikyu, non-holographic. <sighs> Champion's Path, I'll be honest, I wouldn't buy them for anything more than like 60, 70 bucks. 80 bucks? <laughs> I mean, if you got one and ship one to me, I would, by all means, I would, I would open it up for you. But the biggest thing is like, Champion's Path, I just don't love the set. Like, um, it's just the Charizards. That's the only thing in there that's really worth anything. And everything else kind of sucks. Um, also, Battle Styles, not a huge fan of, but uh, Chilling Rain. Ooh, some of the alternative artworks for those, beautiful. Love them. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to get uh, started and opening more of those. Yeah, we got Psychic Energy, Crawdont, Sword Word, Sword Word, that's such a, I hate these names, they got too cheesy with them, and Shieldbird, Indeedee, Horsey, Murkrow, Bronzor, Bellsprout, that's a pissed off Electabuzz, we got Weeping Bells the Reverse, Primeape, Non-Holographic, and that's the other thing is I gotta learn how to play the whole battle styles because it's the single strike and multi strike or whatever. I know nothing about them, nothing at all. So I know some of the card values, um, just because I was very curious about them. <laughs> but other than that, I don't know a whole lot about these sets, um, just because there hasn't been many out there to to buy and open. We got water energy, keep more. Tower of Darkness, Karina's and Focus, I said Energy, <laughs> Timber, Corfish, Cacneon, Mawile, Spoink, the reverse is Galarian Mr. Mime, ooh, and a Tyranitar V, not bad at all, the big one, I believe for battle styles, is the alternative art of the Tyranitar V, um, I'm gonna have to figure out where I can place these cards. There we go. It's not too bad. So that is the big card that I know of just because the artwork is hilarious. Um, and I know with a lot of the uh, Chilling Rain artwork, like I just love that artwork style. It, they had so many that look so cool. Like all the, the different Galarian legendary birds, those cards look amazing. The Moltres, Zapdos, beautiful cards. Uh, we got Grass Energy, Bruxish, Bouffalant. It's been a while since I've seen one of those cards. Love Bouffalant. Level Ball, Mankey, Galarian Slowpoke, Fomantis, Remoraid, Cubone. Roly Coley is the reverse in a Bolton, non holographic. Hey, Carlos. So, what I do for codes, actually, um, and for anyone else who's new, um, if you follow along on Twitch, 
you get um, what I call experience points. It's pretty much like the points that you get for following along and whatnot. Um, you get them for following me, uh, for watching for every 10 minutes you get a certain amount of codes, um, so on and so forth. Um, and then you can redeem those points in my st uh, stream store uh, for online codes. That's my way of giving back to people who watch, follow, pay attention. Um, Cause trust me, every single one of these streams that I do, I have someone asking for codes and I figure the best way and what makes the most sense for me is to uh, do that system with the experience points. But anyways, we got Grass Energy, Grumpig, Luxio, Spupa, Tepig, Pachirisu, Mindfu, Baltoy, Galarian Mr. Mime, Rapid Strike Style Mustard. I'm not gonna like saying that all the time. <laughs> and oops, Steelix Holographic. Yeah, absolutely. What are these blister packs? Open up quite nice. All right, we got steel energy. Rumpig. Energy Recycler, Girder, Murkrow, Lickitung, Electabuzz, Esper, Timber, Firo is the reverse, Stonjourner, not holographic. Okay. I was right where you were about a year or so ago. Yeah, hit me with whatever questions you want to ask, because honestly, Pokemon collecting can be a very dangerous game. <laughs> that pack fought me a little bit. Alright. We got Water Energy, Swordward, and Shieldbird. Firo! Carnivine, Remoraid, Spiro, Pachirisu, Cherubi, Mindfu, Cacnea is the reverse, and another Steelix Hollow. <laughs> so, I would say Pokemon collecting in general is not cheap um, by any means. Um, it's getting better because. Um, I actually know someone who owns a, a card shop, and they were telling me that the reason why Pokemon cards became so rare over the last few months is due to production issues, and along with them opening up a new factory, um, that they just couldn't meet the demands that were coming out there. So booster boxes were insanely expensive. Um, right now, you can get a Battle Styles um, booster box for the low in the low 90s on eBay um, and yeah the biggest thing is if you're collecting to provide long-term value um, make sure you keep it protected and you got to hold on to it for a while that's just kind of the way it goes um, because if you look at even if you look at um, I was just looking the other day at Burning Shadows um, booster box going for like three four hundred dollars when if you look at one of my earlier videos i bought one for 70 bucks and opened it up dumb but i had no idea that it was going to go to that extreme pokemon is continuing to rev up and thankfully they've got some at least some good sets coming up and they're still celebrating the 25th anniversary so they can get um okay collection after the long term value okay well if that's the case, if you're looking to build up just a collection, if you're looking to like complete sets and stuff like that, booster boxes are still the way to go, um, simply because you get better cards in them. Um, 
the pull rates for a booster box are infinitely better than an elite trainer box or any of like the individual boxes that you'll buy like I'll, I'll open up early uh, later on um, some of the other options but booster boxes give you the best return on value um, in terms of a how much the packs cost um, they're the cheapest in a booster box and it's just it's just the easiest way to get all of the more higher end cards because you're guaranteed at least two hyper slash secret rares in a booster box unofficially um so it's always a much better bet um to go with a booster box uh, but anyways we'll go i actually have some chilling rain here so yeah that would be my input um obviously um everyone's got a different opinion stuff like that i just know booster boxes in terms of Completing a collection are the best way to go about that and also You can look at um, I sell cards on um, TCG player um, That's a great resource if you're picking up like random cards to complete a set. Um, they've got a great Marketplace pretty much where you can look at just common sellers and see how much they're uh, selling cards for I just want the box. I want the box <laughs> Timmy, wise words. <laughs> I want the box. I want a box of this set before. Ah, okay. I gotcha. So yeah, if you're looking just for the best value on booster boxes, eBay. eBay or find a site that pre-orders them, because typically pre-order prices are better. Um, but I've bought almost every single booster box I own um, through eBay. That's always the best place to get them in terms of value. But yeah, uh, we got fighting energy. I'm going to hate these cards. Single strike scroll of piercing. Then you got Melanie. <laughs> Gasoline. Cub food. Hatena. Sobble. Oh, he's going zen mode there. And then I got bounce sweep. Scoliopede, Reverse Rare. Amphros, Non-Holographic. Yeah, it's... It's tough, because Pokemon's expensive right now. Um, but it is getting better. Scalpers aren't completely ruining everything. <laughs> uh, more or less just because there's more inventory out there. So yeah, if, if you want to get a booster box, definitely either pre-order it or wait until the set's been out about a month or two or until the next set's out because right now, even Chilling Rain has gone down from like 130 to one, from 130, 140 to about 115, 120 roughly on eBay. So the longer you wait, the more the market will have um, because more print cycles will go out, so that would be my suggestion. If you can't pre-order it, and if you can't get it for 120 or less, um, I wouldn't buy it personally. Um, but obviously, you're free to make your own decisions on that. Uh, we got fire energy, lucky energy. I hope Galarian chestplate, Flaffy, Snowrunt, Venipede, Snover. Valerian Slowpoke, Crabrawler, Gallade Reverse Rare. Ooh, that's a goofy looking card. <laughs> we got Galarian Slowking V Max. There's a lot of mouthfuls in this. I keep seeing people asking for codes, and. If you scroll up just a little bit in the chat, you'll see from my stream elements how you can get the codes. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that, but it's just the best way that I can make it equal for everyone. So it's not like, oh, who's looking at this exact moment and who has their keyboard ready to go. Um, but all you have to do is follow, you can get an instant code. So if you follow me on Twitch, you get a code. Right now, I don't have battle styles or uh, Chilling Rain codes available yet, simply because I'm getting back into the swing of things. Um, but the codes don't expire, or the the points don't expire. So 
if you just create a Twitch account, follow, you get at least one pack, and then if you continue to watch on there, if you host the videos and whatnot, um, you get more codes. Right now, Battle Styles is the cheapest you're probably going to find if you're looking for booster box. Um, like I said uh, earlier, I got one just the other week for $90. Um, so that's probably the most reasonable you're going to find right now. Because um, eventually it's going to... You, you've got to ride the wave, because once booster boxes are no longer being printed, or at least not mass-produced, um, which is usually two sets after it was released, so, for example, there's Battle Styles, Chilling Rain, and then the next one, That after that next one comes out, that's probably when Battle Styles is going to raise in price, just based on the print cycle, so, obviously... It's, you're gambling with the market in terms of what's going to be more valuable and whatnot because I had no idea Chilling Rain was going to have this many cool cards in it. Um, but Battle Styles, like the main chase card is that Tyranitar, arguably. Whereas with Chilling Rain, you've got the Galarian Birds, the Alternative Arts, the Blaziken, that's awesome, Melanie. Uh, a lot of the trainers are pretty cool, so. It fluctuates. I'm, it's not an exact science. All I can do is say what I would do, but I'm no expert either. Um, but anyways, we've got Psychic Energy, Ooh. Clara, Haunter, Flannery, Sfeel, Atena, Rockruff, Shuppet, Castform, Snowy Form, Ralts is the reverse, Ooh, there we go, Greed and Holographic. Protecting his nuts. Alright, so now... I've got... an Elite Trainer box. <laughs> I don't know what Vivid Voltage is going for. It's probably a bit more rare, um, simply because... That was kind of right when the production was starting to go down. Because um, Vivid Voltage is a fantastic set. I actually have um, a booster box that I'm collecting for it as well. I really don't know what the price is for those right now. Again, my suggestion is never pay more than 120 bucks for a booster box. Um, but everyone's got, you know, if you can afford it, by all means, um, go for it. But just. That's my personal opinion, because the retail value is about 120 or so. And obviously, when it comes to collecting cards and whatnot, retail value doesn't really mean a whole lot. Especially with the secondary market that there is. So, yeah, Vivid Voltage is a great set for the Pikachu by itself. Um, but yeah, I have no idea right now what that's currently going for. Alright, so we've got a bunch of Battle Styles packs here. Let's go ahead and get that started. So yeah. yeah, just give it a check. eBay's definitely, like I said, the best place to go um, for any of that stuff. So that'll probably give you a fair market value because on some of like the train card sites, they're still gonna upcharge you. Um, yeah, eBay, it's the safest bet. Uh, Dark Energy, Heatborn, Single Strike Scroll of Scorn. Oh, these are tongue twisters. The Sharp. Gligar, Bellsprout, Electabuzz, Bronzor, Murkrow, Phoebe Reverse, Sentiscorch, Non Holographic. Well, I am in no way a financial expert, <laughs> and I am never going to tell somebody what to do with their money, so if, if you're comfortable paying that, by all means. Um, always just be smart with your money. That's all I can say. <laughs> this is not financial advice at all. Uh, we got Grass Energy, Tool Jammer, Golbat, Glysaur, Spoink, Roly Coley, Frillish, Esper, Blitbug, 
Rapid Strike Scroll of Swirls. And Jellicent, not holographic. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's the other thing is, you don't ever have to buy Pokemon, which is a good way to go about it, because, like, when when the scalpers got insane, I just, I'm like, I'm not gonna give into this, I'm not gonna spend, you know, 150 bucks for a booster box, it just doesn't make sense. Um, you just gotta do what makes sense to you. Uh, we got Fire Energy. Uh, Rapid Strike Squirrel Swirls. Cacturn. Rapid Strike Energy, Timber, Galarian Slowpoke, Corfish, Salandand, Roly Coley, Phalanx, which is a reverse rare, and a Lorantis, not a holographic. Yeah, eBay is definitely the most reasonable place to get boxes after the set is released. Um, some of them do pre orders. Um, so a scalper is anyone who buys it at retail value and then sells it on a secondary site for more money than they bought it for. So they're just trying to make money by taking advantage of the situation. It's like what people are doing with PlayStation, PS5s, and Xbox Series Xs. They're buying it and then they're selling it for more money than it's worth. Uh, but anyways, we got Psychic Energy, Dottler, Doblade, Pignite, Pachirisu, Shirubi, Mindfu, Galarian Mr. Mime, Silicobra, Salandant, ah, and a Colossal Holographic. So yeah, a lot of people on eBay technically are scalpers, um, but some of them do have like contracts to sell uh, Pokemon cards, because that's a lot a main way that some of the people on eBay get their booster boxes that they've got distributors and whatnot that give it to them for discounted prices um, and that allows them to resell them and make a profit um, metal energy single strike energy camping gear Cedra horsey well that's convenient to Ruby, Lickitung, Electabuzz, Esper, Zubat, and Licky Licky. Such a weird Pokemon. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I think the next one comes out in November, I believe, is the. It's Brilliant Diamond and Something Pearl. I think those are the next remakes coming out. And then Arceus comes out in January, I think. I believe those are the next ones. But then there's technically that Pokemon teamwork game that's coming out. I forget what it's called. Um, it's almost like a Battle Royale, but for Pokemon. And it's like a team. And so not technically a Battle Royale, but you're, like you're on two teams and you're fighting. But you're playing as the Pokemon. That's coming out in a few weeks or months or something like that. But in terms of actual Pokemon games, it's uh, that Diamond and Pearl remake that I believe is in November. Yeah, Arceus does look sick. I'm holding out hope that they make the Nintendo Switch Pro like an Arceus um, model. I'm gonna be pre-ordering that bad boy if it exists. And we got Water Energy, Girder, Seedra, Fan of Waves, Mankey. Mawile, Fomantis, Remoraid, Spiro, Stonjourner Reverse Rare, and Primate Non-Holographic. <laughs> but you know, it, it's kind of, it's not like quite a battle royale, but like, I've seen the trailer for it, but I haven't really looked into it too much because it doesn't seem quite for me. But I think it's releasing on the Switch and mobile phones, actually. So I'm very curious to see how it plays out. Um, I know they've been working on it for a while now. I think it got mentioned at the last Pokemon update like a year or so ago, but they didn't have as many details about it. Also, if you noticed, we've kind of been, it's been pretty rough here. <laughs> we've gotten one V, one V Max, and three Hollows. <laughs> Bulbasaur, yeah. It's got uh, a Kimbo pistols. 
That's it for 108. Yeah, that is not bad at all. At all. In my opinion. Again, not financial advice. Um, <laughs> grass energy. Gold bat. Energy recycler. Earn a vitality. Lip bug. Silicobra. Lickitung. Houndour. Horsey. Spoink is the reverse. Thunder or non holographic. Yeah, because the the vivid voltage, the Pikachu, Chonky Chew, Rainbow Chew, that's a pricey card still. I don't know what it's going for, but back when Vivid Voltage first released, that was like a two three hundred dollar card. Um, so yeah, hundred and eight is not bad at all because you figure there's thirty six packs in there. So if you just take whatever number you're paying for, divided by thirty six, you'll get how much you're paying per pack. And packs are typically like anywhere between four and five bucks, depending on taxes and all that fine stuff. But yeah, we got Dark Energy, Luxio, Durant, Perugly, Glammeow. See, now you see Bulbasaur dropping into Verdansk, and I just got him, like, with his vine whips out with dual pistols. <laughs> Corefish, Scatterbug, Cubone, Murkrow, Bronzor is the reverse, Slazzle, non-holographic. And that actually reminds me, uh, my TCG player uh, account um, is not up because I was moving. Oh, now we're under the boxes. We got box number one. This is Rapid Strike Urshifu. Ah, you're in England, so that that changes up because I don't know the. Uh, Trying to think of the right word for it. Currency exchange. That's more or less what I'm looking for. Ooh. I like how this isn't even a promo, it's just a reverse <laughs> rare. The rapids just track energy. <laughs> Well, the set that I'm looking forward to continue to open right now is Chilling Rain. I think there are some cards in Chilling Rain. There's several cards worth over $100 in Chilling Rain, which is phenomenal. There's no Charizard, so there's no, like, four or $500 card. But in terms of, like, overall value, uh, Chilling Rain is fantastic. So let's start with the oldest packs first. We got Crimson Invasion. Holy yikes. <laughs> Alright, we got Grass Energy, Pile of Swine, Peaking Red Card, Gastrodon, Aaron. <laughs> Sorry, um. What are you doing? <laughs> My cats. Aaron, Corfish, Ghastly, Houndour, Staryu, Minchino, and Go Go Holographic. Yes, Crimson. Not a good set. Um, it's honestly one of the worst in recent history. The, another bad one is Steam Siege. Um, oh, where'd he go? Of course, he scampered off. I, oh, nope, there he is. Let me, let's see if we can... <laughs> There's the cat. <laughs> Figaro, what are you doing? No, don't step on that. People pay good money for that. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> that is Figaro. And now we got Darkness of Blaze. <laughs> but don't, you're not gonna make it. Don't do it. <laughs> he's, he's really trying this. You can probably hear him breathing in the microphone. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> So 
Sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> that's that. That's that's Figgy. All right. Anyways, <laughs> we got Psychic Energy, Dartrix, the Dene, Bird Keeper, Doros, Rookity, Galarian Mr. Mime, Electric, Dino, Tauros is the Reverse, the Hoopaha Graphic. Uh, I mean, that doesn't seem too unreasonable. 110. Um, the big thing with Darkness of Blaze is, um, is it, it has the Charizard cards. So anytime you got a Charizard card or like one of those big pull cards in a set, they're typically more pricey. Um, which is why Battle Styles is dropping in value, because the one Chase card doesn't have as much long term value as. Um, Say a Charizard or a Pikachu, which is why Darkness Ablaze and Vivid Voltage are as pricey as they are. Um, yeah, 110, a little bit more than I would pay, but yeah. Yeah, Sword and Shield, uh, the Golden Zashian, still a pretty decent card. Um, it's just cool to get the base set. Anyways, we got Metal Energy, Crawdon, Doe Blade, Cacturn, Lickitung, Zubat, I don't know. Weird looking card. <laughs> Remoraid, Onyx, Mawile, Bronzor is the reverse. I feel like we've gotten several reverse Bronzors. Um, and Flappleby, we got something. <laughs> and yeah, the cats are probably going to be a common occurrence going forward. <laughs> uh, for better or worse. Um, because I'm not in an office currently, um, I'm just in the front room. They can come and go as they please. So, the cats will likely... All, all four of them. Um, most likely we'll only see two of them, but we have the potential for four. <laughs> yeah, as long as they don't destroy things. Yeah, my other cat's right over there, but I don't think I can get the camera there. But yeah, we got uh, Water Energy, Crawdont, Doughblade, Cacturn, Bellsprout. Bronzor, Horsey, Murkrow, Cherubi, Seedra is the reverse. Ooh, Single Strike, Urshifu. <laughs> I really hope I'm saying that right. Again, when you don't hear a Pokemon's name said aloud, it's really hard to be confident about saying what it is. All right, so that was that for that box. Now we're on to the last box here. We have Single strike. Urshifu. So, the good news is I have a lot of cards to open up going forward. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I've got Chilling Rain. I've got Battle Styles. Um, hey, bud. <laughs> so, we'll have plenty open up going forward and I'm definitely excited about playing Pokemon Snap. Um, really excited about that. Because I've had it for all these weeks and I'm just sitting here like, ah, but I want to stream it, but I want to play it. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, my girlfriend played it a little bit and I watched her, so I kind of know how the very beginning of the game goes, but... Make sure get these sleeved up. Alright, so what's the oldest one in this one? Another Crimson Invasion, Darkness Voice, two battle styles. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, the nice part about Pokemon is unless you get really one of the bad sets, which there aren't a ton of, um, it's fun just to have them. It's fun to build out your collection, because I'm really excited, because we'll make sure this is not as right away. Um, hopefully in the next half year to a year, I'll be buying a home, and I'll be buying and building out my office, which will be... I'm excited about it. Anyways. Uh, we got uh, Fighting Energy, Fighting Memory, 
Devoured Field. A fighting Pokemon. Gastrodon. Staryu. Jengmo O. Feebas. Stuffle. Chimeko. Stuffle again. Figaro. Catception. <laughs> Stuffle. And Registeel. Oh boy. We're gonna have to figure this out. Come on, bud. What are you doing? Yeah, you're on TV. Look at that. <sighs> Messed up the camera and everything, Figaro. You are really determined, aren't you? We're almost done, bud, I promise. <laughs> Fighting energy, powerful energy, soul rock, Steeny, Larvesta, Bopatas, Golet, Skitty, Dino, Gothida, and Talonflame, not holographic. Yeah, I think you're right. Um, well, he chases lights, but he's also like in between my microphone and my microphone, like, splash guard. Why? <laughs> Two packs to go, but I promise. Battle styles. <laughs> Grass energy. Rapid strike style mustard. More Pekka. <laughs> yeah. Trust me, with, with how loud he is, he definitely could. Doughblade. Mawile. Fomantis, Remoraid, Spiro, Pachirisu, Urn of Vitality, and Lurantis non holographic. Alright, last pack here. Alright, we got. Electric Energy. Ooh. I'm not even gonna say their names. I hate them in the game and I hate their names. I hate everything about those guys. Firo, Carnivine, Roly Coley, Frillish, Esper, Flipbug, Houndour, Karina's Focus. We got something back and another Rapid Strike Urshifu. <laughs> so, do a quick recap here. And yeah, so tomorrow I'll be doing Pokemon Snap. Next Tuesday, I'll be back, hopefully, um, doing more cards. Um, we'll, we'll keep this going here now that I've got everything set up, and it looks like everything worked out, um, which is fantastic, because um, that was my biggest concern, was just that I'd run into the, the myriad of uh, issues that happen with streaming. But yeah, so, we got Hoopa Holographic. Go Go Holographic, Colossal Holographic, Steelix, and Steelix Holographic. We got Greedent Hollow, Single Strike Urshadu. The pro or that was the promo. This is the normal one. We got Flapple V. Then we got Rapid Strike Urshifu and Rapid Strike Urshifu. And then we got Tyranitar V and Galarian Sloking B Max. So. <laughs> not great in terms of uh, our return on cards there. Not, not a whole lot there. But, again, like I said, I wasn't opening too much. I'm glad I had the conversations with all of you guys. I love doing this. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow playing Pokemon Snap. And next Tuesday, I'll have Shining Fates, actually. I, w I do have Shining Fates. Um, and I might even get more Shining Fates. But we'll go uh, Charizard hunting. We'll go... Uh, Tyranitar hunting and battle styles, and then we can start doing chilling rain with uh, I love the Galarian birds. 
all the alternative arts are fantastic. So anyways, thank you all for stopping by. I love talking to all of you guys. This has been a blast. I'm so glad it was successful today. Um, especially given the troubles I've had in the past. But yeah, thank you all for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.